Hi everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to Lawrence Can Draw. So a friend of mine recently unboxed something on his channel, I'll put the link in the description, and I thought to myself it's been a massive long time since I actually saw something come in a box from Adobe. So I ventured upstairs into the attic to find a product in a box from Adobe. So here we are, Adobe Creative Suite 3, 4 and 5. Let's take a look. So starting with Adobe Creative Suite number 3. This came out in 2007. Comment below if you ever used this. If you ever owned this, if you have this box yourself. Or if you had this, you know, if you ever used any of these in fact. So yeah, super, super, look at that. Still in pretty good condition for the amount of money you spend. You don't want to go throwing these out. You know, once you own them, it's useless now. I'm never ever going to use this again. This was the Windows edition. As you can see on the box, it came with Windows InDesign CS3, Photoshop CS3 Extended. Ooh. Illustrator CS3, Flash CX3 Professional, I don't know what the difference was, Dreamweaver CS3, Acrobat 8 Professional with Adobe Bridge CS3, Version Q CS3 Adobe Device, never used that. Central CS3 Stock Photos, I don't think I ever use those either. Adobe Connect, bonus Adobe Video Workshop training included never ever used. So, once you open this up, it's pretty standard. The box itself isn't much to look at, but inside you get the CDs with the actual applications on. You get a tiny, tiny booklet which is in about four or five languages, which just tells you to go and register it. A thick booklet, and that just tells you about each of the applications within Creative Suite number three. But I've been using the Adobe packages since the early 90s, so I know everything in here anyway, so I never felt that I had to read it. It's pretty straightforward, it's a really nice glossy book, and it just goes through the features, especially the new features which are in each application. But look, it's all on CD. Today, direct download, but CD, crazy. I think I, yeah, if you saw the serial number, discard it, though I never used it, so. <laughs> it's printed right on the back, but um, yeah, it's probably defunct now anyway probably doesn't work on any system unless you go back and install like Windows from the the kind of uh, from 2007 which I can't even remember which version version of Windows that is drop it in the comments below if you remember but yeah it, it was about yeah two CDs which is okay it's not too bad but the video workshops there are on one CD and then that there's even a security tag in there which is quite strange maybe if it was in a shop at one point it wasn't I have to say there you go that's it I won't I won't labor the point on this for me personally you know that was probably about 500 quid at the time I spent a lot of money on that Absolutely love this. Ah. CS4 fell over. It's wanting to be reviewed. Bam, in the post. CS4 turned up. I was so happy. I was like, brilliant. So, that was absolutely awesome. So, CS4 turned up. And I was like, amazed. Again, similar box. The outside is a bit different. I don't, I didn't think the box design looks better. Personally, that black design with just the, the few colours, which do you prefer? Do you prefer that or the Creative Suite 3? 
I prefer Creative Suite Freeze box rather than Creative Suite 4. But the inside box is the same, it's that rough, unbleached cardboard. So going inside, again, same kind of thing, the CD and small leaflet. No big book inside this time, no big book. Just the small leaflet. Again, your ticket to CS4 benefits, and this just tells you to go register. And it kind of just tells you, you know, about the website and everything like that. On the back of the CD is your serial number, etc. And inside are the CDs. However, CS4 contained multiple CDs. I mean, look at that. There's application one, application two, content, and learning disc. So, this time there's an extra disc with content in. Now, the CS4 came with the exact same InDesign, Photoshop 4 Extended, Illustrator, Flash 4 Professional, Dreamweaver, Fireworks, Acrobat 9 Pro, Adobe Bridge CS4, Version Q CS4, Adobe Device Central CS4, Training DVD included. Now, one thing on there is uh, version Q was that on here let me just check um, no version Q wasn't in CS3 and did I see something else no that was it now I remember when Fireworks, Dreamweaver, Flash, etc. were all actually owned by a company called Macromedia. So at one time you used to have to buy Adobe software and Macromedia. And they both used to cost around 500 each. Yeah, so professional studios used to have to spend about 1000 on software if you were kind of a web company or something like that so when Adobe bought out Macromedia companies were suddenly like oh, we're saving we're saving like half the money um, yeah so it was amazing so quickly on to CS5 the box format changes Ooh. and the design is kind of nice on this as well don't know what you think of that but that nice slidey action there. Kind of cool. In Adobe Creative Suite 5 Design Premium. In this one we've got Adobe Photoshop CS5 Extended, Adobe Illustrator CS5, Adobe InDesign, uh, Adobe Flash Catalyst, Adobe Flash a Professional, Adobe Dreamweaver, uh, Adobe Fireworks, Adobe Acrobat 9 Pro, Adobe Bridge, Adobe Device Central, integrated with CS Online Services. Ooh. Okay, so. I just wanna do this right for you. Because this one can be a bit fiddly actually. Even though, you know, it's that slick box design, it can actually be a bit fiddly. So, here you go. And the CD just slots out like that. And there is a couple of small leaflets. Again, just telling you to go register, notice to users, etc, etc. Nothing fancy. On the back, serial numbers, etc. There you go. Inside, the CDs come in small wallets. Adobe Acrobat is on its own CD. I think that's more because if you were buying these separately. Adobe Creative Suite 5 and Design Premium again. Oh that's content. It's a bit hard to figure out that one. So yes, there are the applications on one CD, there's the content on the black CD and that's Acrobat on the floor. <laughs> So yeah, um, fewer CDs, all because, there you go.
because they've figured out how to make CDs take more content these days. And that's what, you know, what it used to be like when applications used to come in boxes on CDs. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to follow me on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and TikTok now. Yeah, strange that one. But, yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Have a wonderful day, and that's what it's like for us old people. Have a great one. Speak to you soon. Bye.